Suppose someone takes 500 milligrams of vitamin C, but an exponential function modeling the amount of vitamin C in the body, given that the half-life of vitamin C is 30 minutes. For part A, we're asked to write a function for the amount of vitamin C in the body using either the continuous growth model, f of t equals a times e to the power of kt, or the half-life model, f of t equals a times one-half to the power of t divided by c. In this lesson, we will be using the half-life model. I will create another lesson using the continuous growth model. When writing the function, we need to determine whether we want to use minutes or hours. I'll actually show a model for both. So again, using the model f of t equals a times one-half raised to the power of t divided by c, a is the initial or starting amount, t is the time in either minutes or hours, and C is going to be the half-life time in minutes or hours. Let's first write the function using the units of minutes, since that's what's given. We have F of T equals the starting amount is 500 milligrams, and therefore A is 500, times 1 half raised to the power of, the variable of the function is T, so we have T divided by C, where since the half-life is 30 minutes, c is 30. So we have t divided by 30 as the exponent. Now the exponent of t divided by 30 should make sense. Notice how when t is equal to 30, the exponent on 1 half is 1, leaving us with just 500 times 1 half, which is half the amount of 250. And now if we want to use hours as the units of time, we need to know that 30 minutes is equal to 1 half of an hour. And therefore now c is going to be one half. So for hours we have f of t equals 500 times one half raised to the power of t divided by one half. But remember dividing by one half is the equivalence to multiplying by the reciprocal of two over one. t times two over one is just two t. And again this exponent should make sense because when the time is 30 minutes or one half an hour t is one half. 2 times 1 half is 1, so after half an hour, the amount left is 500 times 1 half, or 250. And now let's answer some additional questions. Part B, according to the function, how much vitamin C is left after 4 hours? Give the answer to the nearest whole number. Let's show we get the same answer whether we use the function when we have time in minutes, as well as when we have time in hours. If we want to use the function in minutes, we need to know that four hours is equal to four times 60 minutes, or 240 minutes. So using the function where the time is in minutes, we would have f of 240 equals 500 times 1 half, raised to the power of 240, because 240 is the time in minutes, divided by 30. 240 divided by 30 is eight, giving us 500, times one half raised to the power of eight. And if we use the function when the time is in hours, we would have just f of four, since the time is four hours, giving us 500 times one half raised to the power of two times four. And notice how we have an exponent of eight on the one half, just as we did when the units were in minutes. And now going to the calculator, to the nearest whole number or the ones place value, the value rounds to two. So there are approximately two milligrams left after four hours. The last question, how long will it take for the vitamin C level to drop to 75 milligrams? Give the answer in hours to one decimal place. To answer this question, I'll actually just use the function when the time is in hours, which is f of t equals 500 times 1 half raised to the power of 2t. To answer this question, we set f of t equal to 75 and solve for t. This gives us the equation 75 is equal to 500 times 1 half raised to the power of 2t. Let's first isolate the exponential term by dividing both sides by 500. Simplifying, 75 divided by 500 simplifies to 3 twentieths. And the right side simplifies to just 1 half raised to the power of 2t. 
And now we take the common log or natural log of both sides. I'm going to use natural log, which gives us natural log of 3 twentieths is equal to, on the right we'll apply the power property of logarithms, which means natural log 1 half to the power of 2t is equal to 2t times natural log 1 half. Now here we're trying to solve for t, so now we will divide both sides by 2 natural log 1 half. Notice simplifying on the right, 2 divided by 2 simplifies to 1, and so does natural log 1 half divided by itself, leaving us with t on the right. And now we need to evaluate the quotient on the left and round to one decimal place. Again, because we use the function where the time was in hours, we know this time is also going to be in hours, which is what is asked for. Because of the 6, we round up to 1.4. The vitamin C level will drop to 75 milligrams in approximately 1.4 hours. I hope you found this helpful.